Hello and welcome back to Will It Work. Today we're going to be taking a look at the BlackBerry Classic. This phone came out in 2014 and runs the BlackBerry 10 operating system. This was BlackBerry's response to the iOS and to Android phones. I have no experience with this operating system until I bought this phone a few days ago. I really wanted to do a deep dive and just see what all we could get to work with the device. So the first thing we're going to show off is Apple's new AirTags. These little trackers you can put in a backpack or in your purse or on your keychain and you can use it to find those items around your house or really anywhere in the world because this will ping off of other iPhones and report back its location. If you lose one of these trackers you can put it into loss mode and put a recovery contact number in it. So if somebody with an iPhone finds it they can op their, open up their Find My app and get that recovery phone number. Now Apple was smart enough to know that not everybody has an iPhone, so they also put an NFC tag in these. So if you have an Android phone, you can just tap your phone to this and it'll pull up a web page which will give you that recovery phone number. A few weeks ago I did a video with a Windows 10 phone that also had an NFC scanner in it and I was able to scan the AirTag with the Windows phone pull it up in the browser and get that recovery phone number. So let's see if it works with a BlackBerry 10 phone with an NFC scanner like this Classic. I'll just swipe it around the back. There we go. And there's the web page. And it has the recovery phone number right there, 555-867-5309. So there you go. If you're still rocking a BlackBerry 10 device, and I know some of you out there are, and you find a lost AirTag, you can scan it, you can get that phone number and help get it back to its owner. Okay, so next we're going to take a look at USB audio, as well as these generic USB media controllers with a dial that you can get. Now, I don't have a dedicated USB speaker, unfortunately, but I do have the iMic from Griffin. This is an old Mac accessory that lets you take analog line in and microphones and convert it to USB as well as take USB audio out and convert it to an analog source which is what I've done here with this little mini speaker I have plugged into the audio jack and then the iMic is plugged into the USB hub and this little dial controller is also plugged into the USB hub and then the hub is plugged into a USB on the go cable which is plugged into the back of the BlackBerry Classic dock here so I've got three songs on here, and if everything works right, I should be able to just push the button on this dial control to get it going, and we'll hear some music out of the speaker. Control the volume. Push down and turn. Go to the next song. Turn the volume back up. down and backwards. We'll go back to the original song. So this is really neat. USB audio works as well as taking a microphone in through this source and this little dial controller works perfectly fine on the BlackBerry 10 operating system. So pretty cool so far. Okay so now we're going to take a look at attaching various USB drives to the BlackBerry Classic and see if the BlackBerry 10 operating system can use those drives. So the first thing I have here is an iOmega zip disk, the Imation Super Disk Drive. If you're not familiar with that one, it has 120 megabyte super floppies in it, but it's also backward compatible with the older 1.4 megabyte floppies as well. Over here I have a standard USB floppy disk drive, and underneath of it a standard DVD burner. These four devices represent the four major subclasses of USB mass storage. SCSI, Atapi Removable Media, Floppy, and Atapi Optical. I have done a lot of videos with the iPhone attaching it to various devices, and if you watched any of those, I've mentioned a few times that these two over here do not work on the iPhone. Floppy disk drives and optical media, those two subclasses don't work on the iPhone. There's some workarounds with very special devices, but your run-of-the-mill floppy drive and uh, DVD or CD burner is not going to work. So let's take a look and see 
how we do with the BlackBerry Classic. Now I have a USB mouse in this hub as well, just one of the little wireless transmitters there, so I don't have to get my finger in the way of the camera. And let's go over to the file manager. And there's all four of them. Pretty neat. Now, one odd thing is it doesn't give the volume label of the disk, so they all just say USB device. So what I've done is put a text file on each drive so we know which, which one is which. There is one caveat with the DVD burner, and that is although the subclass works, the BlackBerry 10 operating system doesn't know how to read ISO or UDF disks. That's what you'd find on a standard data CDR or a standard data DVDR. However, there is a special kind of DVD called DVD-RAM, which is entirely optical, but it works more like a traditional hard disk. You can read and write to it all you want, and you can format it any way you want. So if you take DVD-RAM and format it in FAT32 or XFAT, then the BlackBerry Classic can read the disk. Unfortunately, it's read-only, though, which is strange because I thought if it worked that far, it should just see it as a block device and write to it, but unfortunately, it's read-only. So I have a file on the DVD-RAM, just a little picture, and I'm going to move it down through the other disks to show that they're working fine. So let's go in first and find the optical drive. Uh, there it is. So there's the picture. So we'll go in here. There it is. It's an old 1948 pinball game I have. And what we'll do is go in here and say select picture. And we can only copy it. We can't move it because we can't write to this disk. And we'll copy it. And then let's go to uh, let's do it on the super disk and we'll paste. And this one's firing up now. Okay, so there it is on the super disk. And now let's select that JPEG and we'll move it this time. And let's move it to. was the second one. That's the floppy. Let's move it to the floppy. Okay. So now we moved it to the floppy. Let's uh, select it again, and let's move it to the zip, which is here at the bottom. Okay. And there's the picture off the zip disk. This is really cool. The BlackBerry 10 operating system supports all four major subclasses of USB mass storage. That's much more than the iPhone does. So I have been very impressed with this phone. Um, it's a shame it's not around anymore. Um, it could have given some real competition to uh, Android as well as the iOS. Remember, this came out five years before Apple even allowed external storage on the iPhone and five years until Apple allowed uh, a mouse with a cursor on the iPhone as well. So quite ahead of its time. I'm actually very impressed with the BlackBerry 10 operating system. Anyway, I hope you're enjoying these videos. If you are, please like and subscribe. I'll be back soon, but that's all for now. Take care.